Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at Garage Band and the beat sequencer. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to create a new song and <clears throat> choose beat sequencer here. So this is going to be like a series of tutorials, I think, because there's so much cool stuff in Garage Band now. That it, it, it's going to be one video is no good. It's all it's all messy and choppy, and it's too much to get through. So I'm going to concentrate on certain instruments and features uh, in in shorter, more concise videos. So we're going to do the beat sequencer first. Okay, so when you first open the beat sequencer, uh, this is what you're presented with, basically, a, a, a blank thing. And the kit is the Modern 808. So, for instance, what we need to do is start to tap it and it'll start to play it. Now, if we want to record that over our entire two bars, uh, eight bars, I uh, uh, excuse me, but uh, we'll just, all we need to do is press record, but we'll get to that in a sec, I'll show you. So, yeah. It's very cool. It's straightforward stuff. And at any time we like, we can change the kit out. Now, you'll see that if we go to recently added, these are new things that have just been added for this update. So if we go to Beat Sequencer, these are all brand new drum kits that they added for Beat Sequencer. Okay. So let's stick with that one. So we'll click done, <clears throat> and we'll get into that in a bit more detail in a sec. So I just want to quickly, we'll stop that a sec. I want to quickly go through what these are as well. So velocity, that's kind of self-explanatory. You can choose the velocity of each and every hit, if you like. So we could close the velocity down for those. We could drop it for the snare, say we could bounce it up for that, do that, do this. So we can control our velocity. Okay. I, I don't think we can control the pan of each uh, each instrument, but you know. There is also another thing you need to know. If you long hold on any of these, then you get finer control over the velocity of everything. So you know you can you can really tune this in nicely. I think I've just moved my thing sorry about that tell you what i'll do i'll st <clears throat> stick the base of it down with a bit of with a bit of the old blue tack hang on hey it's all technical stuff here any so just check the camera okay let's see yeah that should be a bit better okay so and then now note repeat. So let's choose the, let's put the velocities up for those two and let's choose note repeat. Now note repeat, again, if you long hold, this makes more sense. You see, it will, you can go one note, two notes. So let's do a two note note repeat on that one hit there. Let's go back to step on and off. And add that one there and let's cut a couple of more note repeats in here so let's do three for that one <clears throat> okay now <clears throat> moving along there we have chance okay so this is the probability that that particular note uh, a, a step in the sequence will will actually play so let's say we didn't want this snare to play on every single hit. If we tap it once, and we can tap it like this, and you'll see the percentages change. But again, the best thing to do is to long hold, and you'll see you can control the percentages of the hit. So let's see. Well, let's go. A bit, let's say it's about twenty-five percent chance of it hitting, and let's see what happens. Let's go to velocity and turn it right up. 
didn't hit then or then well it should hit now so you're gonna one in four chance of that hitting basically each time it each time it passes so that's how you can do your note rebate your your chance now another cool thing here is loop start and loop end now this is individual for each uh track sort of thing so the kind of effect you can get is this let's start again now that is the same isn't it is going to be is that four on the floor sort of thing so you could i get achieve exactly the same effect just doing that let's put a few hits uh, go bit a step So you get the idea. Oh, you can also, by the way, stop, uh, mute it from here, but it will still run the track. So that's just something else. Now, if we want to now make our pattern bigger, so let's just do a, let's just open this and let's open this little button here, which is our preset patterns. Now we can save patterns uh, here and they'll be in our custom patterns there. Or uh, we can just choose a, a new pattern. Now you will see, let's just stop this for a sec. You will see that, let me get onto note velocity as well. You'll see that across the top here now you have four, four blocks. So this pattern uh, that's been programmed in here has been programmed to be 64 steps longer and you if you hit information here you can see length 64 steps if i go down to 16 steps it will just be one bar and it will play that one bar repeatedly over every or your recording sequence so let's do this let's do say 32 steps and you will see now that you have two two independent patterns that you control they'll let, let right so is there any difference let's see They're the same, but we can add. And of course we can do our velocities and note repeats for. For anything we like. And we can also, um, again, we can expand that to 64 step length. We can choose our step lengths now, so we could do this, and it will. Slow it all down, or we could speed it up. Let's stick to 16 though, for the purposes of making life easy for us. Now, here's another cool thing as well. Let's choose another pattern so it stays interesting. Right, cool beans, well done. We can do playback mode here. So we can choose which way our patterns sort of play. So this will be ping-ponging all over the place. How cool is that? So let's go backwards and forwards. Or we can randomize it. And this will be just picking stuff from everywhere. Or we can just stick with basic forward. Okay, so now you see how that works. Now that's very cool. So now you've got a basic, well, you've got a really good idea. Of course, this little, um, 
thing will randomize the whole thing watch you can see it change up here as well okay so that's cool now here is here is something else that's very cool we can delete steps okay uh, or we can add steps and we can choose um from whatever is in this particular kit that we've got chosen now which is the advanced machines we can add different bits and pieces so we can if we want add uh, this there or we could add another um another kick here so we could have two kicks going on so we could do this and we could then make adjustments to that particular kick so if we wanted to now also here now this is where this gets super good cool fun Here's the main categories for the beat sequences. So you can choose from any of these. So you could choose from rock drummers. Okay, so you could choose four on the floor and then that kit will then be for your beat sequencer. Okay, or we could do this. If we go to now Japanese traditional, or we could do this, 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 or we could go to acoustics we could choose this or we could choose percussion now percussion is good because it lets us choose our chinese kit our coffee shop kits or so we say let's choose our coffee shop and now our our drum pattern will be uh in our coffee shop kit okay so let's let's see let's do it in taco drums Take our drums, Japanese traditional. This starts to sound awesome, right? Change to the Chinese kit. Now recording this in because if we go now back to our there's nothing there because we've just chosen this as a thing if we want to <clears throat> excuse me record that in now all we need to do is hit and any changes that we make also will be recorded so if i randomize here changes will be recorded so so basically that covers all of the cool new stuff in uh, beat sequencer so remember that you have control over your loops now when you have also I, I need to point out that when you have a, a anything over your sort of basic 16 steps so like this is 64 steps running across your loop end will loop from there to there okay so for instance we're in section three here you can see it's all looped if we go to the end you'll see the end if we go to the beginning you'll see the beginning this way you can make adjustments like this or this and we're just going to loop this one section now will play the entire time that the, the pattern plays sort of thing so So that's how that works. Now you, you, oh, I'm playing. Um, see, so you didn't hear it then because I was playing the the, re the recorded pattern. But if we just wanted to hear what that sounds like, you can see it'll track across. But this bit will continuously loop 
I'll make it more obvious as well here. I'll do it for the uh, this. So there you go, guys. <laughs> Stop it. There's everything you really need to know about making some very, very cool beats and stuff. And the fact that you can swap out your drums to basically anything you like that's available there into all this new stuff. Um, you know, check recently added. And this is all this is all the stuff that they've added. All the new stuff. So you can find it really easy. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll be doing more of these. I'll be checking out the alchemy in more detail and stuff like that. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a patron. Very cool beans, and I will see you guys later.